to tell you the truth, I, I only knew the name. Um, I like to think that maybe I know a little bit about uh, geography, but I knew nothing about Slovenia. You know, I didn't, but as soon as I got here, I knew, I knew about like two or three really quick. I knew that you guys had a couple in the NBA and uh, the, co uh, the hockey player was on fire. Um, I'm really bad with the names, but uh, I know he played for LA and he was, last year he was ripping up the league. They, this is my 10th year playing volleyball, so they're used to me leaving every winter, and they're just kind of like, all right, see you when you get back. But my family was like, um, I had been in Poland for three years, and they, they like to visit there, so they're actually going to come this year, and uh, I want them to see Bled. Uh, my dad wants to row my mom in the boat, you know. <laughs> it was last October, and the sun was shining, and I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it's beautiful, you know, and I was pretty excited. And uh, their first spot was Bled, right? And what can you say? You know, you have the lake, and you have, you know, all the the mountains. And for nice me, scenery. I was like, oh, my God, I'm in heaven kind of thing, right? I can barely speak English, and uh, I try to I mutilate French a little bit. I can understand a tiny bit of Italian because in Poland the teams were coached in Italian. Um, but uh, in terms of any Slavic languages, like <laughs> I don't think I can say it on the. On the <laughs> but uh, uh, Moots was the one I learned. Moots. Which means like kitten yeah. or something. Yeah, my friend keeps calling me Moots. <laughs> oh, I, th I think basically that it's they're and generally like I've I've noticed that they're just really really kind and uh, I think it's similar in Canada. Usually like pretty friendly, you know, not very arrogant. Yeah. So for me, like. The, the cultural fit is really great you know I, everyone seems friendly and kind and this is this is something that's consistent wherever I go in Slovenia and mm -hmm. for me it's it's just it's really great sometimes there's a, a lack of ambition you know and uh, when you want to achieve things it takes a long time to get the movement going Arovica, uh, Bled, Jesenice, Ljubljana, Mariburg, Kotoroš, Koper. Uh, Rignik, no? <laughs> <laughs> He's our guy. Uh, yeah, the the owner of Aseha is the is the president. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Um, Let's see. I saw him on TV last year. Um, there was a lady he was talking to. Um, I can't remember his names. I could picture him, but at the time, what were they discussing? There was last year uh, probably just something to do with the financial crisis and, or something. But no, I don't. I don't know. Two million. Uh, well, definitely what we had talked a little bit about with just, you know, being friendly and kind. Um, but a difference would be, I think, that there's... Um, in Slovenia, there's still, like, a very strong um, cultural and family and friend importance. And just taking time out of each day to communicate a lot with your friends. And this is something that's lacking in Canada big time. In Canada, it's more like business, 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 run, 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 get something you know, get something done, where your family sometimes comes second, and your friends maybe third or fourth, and I don't know, this for me, that's, especially now, where there's a little bit more of a crisis, apparently, in the economy, like, you can't rely all the time on your job, but you can rely normally on your family and your friends, so. Well, I don't know if it's Slovenian, but Chivapchichi is amazing, man. <laughs> I love this stuff, man. I'll eat Chivapchichi every day, three times a day if I could, man. <laughs> I can't believe, I can't remember the name, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not so much mainstream, right? But uh, 
it's a blues band. They're pretty good. They do a lot of like English stuff too, but they have some good uh, Slovenian songs. They're Take them to my apartment <laughs> <laughs> because I live in Bagunie and I live on the mountain in this cabin and it's amazing. So, but I, I'm moving in today. It's it's really fantastic. But I would probably take them first to uh, to Bled Lake, maybe Bohinje or Trigla, um, Ljubljana for sure. There's a uh, Paulo Coleo wrote this book about uh, Veronica wants to die and it takes place in Ljubljana. And uh, I read the book about, I don't know, five or six years ago. Yeah. And then I was walking with a friend through Ljubljana, and I saw the statue, and then I saw this, like, the room, and then the three the three bridges. Mm -hmm. And I, was, I, I had to do, like, I was like, what? Have I been here before, you know? <laughs> this, this group is pretty tight. Like, usually if we do go out and socialize, it's together. But uh, actually, I met some really great people in uh, this area here, so I also go out and hang with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Crazy Dan. Uh -huh. I'm living with myself, but uh, there's uh, I'm, this year I'm going to be living with uh, Jacopi mm -hmm. and Vito, uh, Mateusz. Uh, they both live up in the cabins as well in Bagunie, so it's pretty sweet. Like it's in the winter, it's, in the summer, they're always renting it to like tourists, right? Mm. But in the winter, it slows down, so you can. It's cheaper to rent, so we rent it. And oh, I wish I could show you guys. <laughs> Great. It's awesome. It's on the side of the hill, overlooking the valley, you know. And it's just, it's made of everything's made of wood, so it's, mm. it's really great. Uh, not so much, actually. Like uh, the first couple of years, I was in Europe. It was really difficult. I was always like thinking that I was missing something at home, you know, like what my friends are doing or what, you know, like maybe if I was like a, a bad, it wasn't a great team or something, I was like frustrated and then I was like, maybe I should do something else and I'm in a foreign country. And then about about uh, halfway, maybe through my third year and fourth year, I realized, I made this, like I said to myself, okay, look, if this is what you want to do, man, you got to get into what you're doing, you know, stop worrying about what you're not doing and focus on what you are, what, what I've chosen to do. Uh, it's, it's better to live here because in Canada the taxes are insane, you know, so you pay like so much more tax than like the scenario that you have here where it's maybe like whatever it is, like basically the, I get the salary, the club, it's a net salary and but you get a car here, and the apartment is paid for. Mm -hmm. And the club has a really good scenario with uh, restaurants, so we get good prices for food. Mm -hmm. So at the end of eight months, you know, I'll, I'll do much better here than if I was working in Canada. I don't know. It would be hard. Uh, I think... Uh, if I have to give up my Canadian citizenship, I'm not sure, but in terms of athletics, for sure I'd want to, right? Because then I wouldn't count as a foreigner to play, play sports. I mean, they're starting to naturalize a lot of athletes in every country to avoid the foreigner rules, you know? But if I can play as a foreigner here still and, and have a, a, a fair salary with a good job, then I probably wouldn't be interested. But that could change pretty quick if you meet the right person, right? been to uh, briefly to see part of one of the hockey games in uh, Ljubljana. They got a really great team there. Yeah, I've seen Yesenitsi on TV. Um, I watched some of the handball and the basketball. The, the local Radovica basketball team just went up a division. So they had a great season last year. And uh, I think they're in the second div, which is called like A or I don't know how it works in the basketball, but there's a couple guys on that team. They're super nice guys, so I hang with them sometimes. And yeah, I'm interested in watching that, but uh, I haven't seen any uh, football yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're uh, they're absolutely gorgeous, you know. And uh, I don't know whether it's a combination between the Mediterranean and the Eastern European, but uh, friendly, beautiful, and very intelligent. So I mean, any guy would be lucky to be with a Slovenian girl.